fans, welcome back, kids, Warp Jester, and today is going to be a channel update. And like I said, I didn't do more of these than I want to sometimes, but a lot of stuff has come up, and I want to get a chance to tell you all about it. This is going to be a long one, I apologize. I have some uh, fun games and fails in the background for you while we're talking here to keep you distracted. <laughs> so, I'm going to dive right into this. First thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, good old Ball Rocket Gaming. Yeah, I don't always emphasize this enough, and I really do want to stress this. Bottle Rocket Gaming is a wonderful, wonderful collection of uh, gamers and YouTubers and Twitchers and creators. They get together and play all kinds of games. Our, our, our heart, our, our soul, our roots are, are in Minecraft for sure. But we have a lot of other games that we do play together. You're starting to see some of the new stuff that's been coming out on my channel. You can also check out a whole bunch of other uh, BRGers uh, channels as well. But uh, I want to point out that uh, we're always looking for new blood. Everybody's welcome to join onto the website, keep in touch with what's going on, see up news and updates, and we've got a lot of stuff going on there. So you definitely want to check that out. On the Minecraft front for BRG specifically, for some of you who don't know, I used to be the chapter leader of the Minecraft group, and I have since stepped down. That's been largely due to my life being busy, my real life being busy. So I haven't had a chance to really be there to support it. So we actually have uh, Viesti, a good, good friend of mine, one of the other founders of BRG. She has stepped in as interim chapter leader. She has done a fabulous job. I, I, I cannot thank you enough, Viesti. Uh, you, 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 you've done so well. Uh, but she is, she is uh, uh, getting things sorted. She already actually did the 1.3 patch update for our, our server, our mod pack server. Uh, again, we have the Cherry Bomb mod pack, the new pod mod pack, and uh, the Cherry Bomb server, which is a whitelist server. It's a successor to uh, the M80 server that I've done all these uh, Minecraft videos on. And that's our Season 2. And I'm going to talk more about that in a little bit here. But I wanted to let you know, and I want to give a big shout out to VSD because she has been just stupendous. The other thing about that mod pack, too, is, is it's a monster. So, it, to say the least, she's taken on a big task and done well. <laughs> also, on, on the uh, BRG front, we do have a donation button that's up and running so people can go donate to BRG if they'd like to. And I always encourage people, and I do the videos for fun, I don't ask for monetary income, I don't do commercials because there's nobody's going to want to watch commercials to watch my sorry ass content. <laughs> so, I don't do that. Um, but yeah, if you, if you do feel the heart and need to, to donate to the cause, please feel free to go ahead over to um, the BRG uh, website and hit the donate button. That takes you to PayPal. Uh, we also have a Patreon site that is getting prepped and ready. The back end's down. We just got to get the front end updated so you can actually uh, contribute to us on Patreon if you'd like. And that is basically going to be funding that's going to benefit all the BRGers uh, in that we'll be able to pay for you know the back-end services the hosting the servers and hopefully do a little bit more i still would like to do more unfortunately i'm not in any official capacity right now but uh, yeah we'll see if we can't make that happen so enough of that let's talk about my channel i know there's always been this kind of waffling back and forth of lots of content and then nothing and then lots of content Again, I apologize. I said in my last update video, I am the proud father of, of currently three children and soon to be one more. And again, I'll talk a little more about that. But because of that, things come and go and ebb and flow. Sometimes I've got a lot of time on my hands and sometimes I don't. <laughs> so I am making efforts to improve that and, and have a little more consistency for no other reason than I enjoy it. It is my center. It is my relaxation. So I definitely want to get to a point where I can kind of have stuff coming out a little more reliable. To that point though, the, for the videos I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to start getting myself organized and actually have some uh, outline of stuff I'm doing so I can keep up with it and, and again, just help myself focus. For a couple things you've seen already, you've seen that I started the Retro Gaming series. And this is a series that is me going back and playing a lot of the old loved favorites of mine. Things like Diablo 2, Starcraft 1. I have interest in playing uh, the Unreal and Unreal Tournament first person shooters. If I can uh, find the time and the cash to pick them up again, I definitely want to do that. I might even maybe do a revisit to EverQuest 1 just to the, to the end of just logging on showing what it looked like so you guys can appreciate 
what an MMO was back in 2001 times for me. <laughs> also, Titanfall. You see, I've uh, started the Titanfall series, or I like to call it Titanfall. Uh, this was a game I picked up because uh, a good buddy of mine in real life, me and him kind of got separated in distance, and unfortunately, just due to schedules and whatnot, we kind of lost touch. Reconnected with him, found out he played this game, and so I went ahead and begged the wife for me to pick it up and got it. And so me and him have been playing that a bit. Really fun. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but uh, if you want to see some good com you know, comedy of errors, that's definitely the place to go. And then also uh, War Games. Uh, war Games uh, started up, and that's at the moment what it is, is all of the Wargames.net games. The World of Tanks, World of Ships, and soon to be World of Planes, I hope. World of Planes has been giving me some problems running it. I put a ticket into WorldGames.net support to see if I can get that fixed. So right now it is, well, it's primarily warships. I, I play a couple of rounds of War Tanks with my son. I apologize for the audio. I explained the issue there. And then a whole lot of uh, warships with uh, Sword of Fire, just because I'm so hooked on that game. It's so fun. So hopefully I have a little more variety there soon. If I get Warplanes working, I'll try that out. And I may, down the road, fold in other types of war games, you know, themed war games in there as well. If I happen to come across any of that like playing, who knows. So that's what that is. The other thing I want to talk about is other new stuff I want to start. Start with player studio interviews. I talked about this a little bit on our last player updates with like a Meet BRG. I'm going to soften it a bit. This basically, it's going to be me doing interviews with other gamers, BRGers, people outside BRG possibly, I don't know, but it's a chance to sit down with them. It's kind of like, uh, if you've ever seen or heard of, what's it called, uh, in the actor studio or something like that, where they interview with other people, same kind of concept. It's a chance for you guys to get to know some of the, uh, the people you follow on Twitch, on YouTube, and so on, so if you ask asking questions and having fun with that, so... Look forward to that. I just got to get uh, a few things done and I can start doing the recording hopefully online to time up with people. So yay for that. Uh, and then last but not least is Minecraft. Uh, my channel has been a little bit light on the Minecraft front. And again, I apologize. We do have Minecraft. I do play Minecraft. As a matter of fact, we've had our new Trade Bomb server up for a while now. It's been up since April, I believe. And I've been playing on it. Things have been getting done. I just haven't had either the gumption or the time or something comes up. Always comes up. And I just don't have the ability to sit down and actually record it. And or it's just like, yeah, if I just can try to put recording down for this, I'm going to have to edit. The issue with Minecraft, quite frankly, is I can't normally just sit down for 30 minutes and show you a solid 30 minute run. Minecraft is a lot of, well, I feel is a lot of prep work so that you're not watching me, you know, craft cobblestone into double compressed cobblestone to do this, do this. I'd rather have the materials ready and then be able to do cuts throughout it so that you're not being bored with the, here's a block place, here's a block place. Some people do that, some people don't. It, you know, I'm not, not dissing on anybody. I just, I don't want to do 45 minute episodes of me yammering on while I build a, a dirt house. So it does require editing, it does take a little bit of time to do. And so it's a little harder for me to get into it sometimes. So I apologize. But that said, I do have an intent to get things rolling here. I've actually already canned the first episode being the introduction and, and server tour. So I just need to redo the intro for season two. And I'm going to have that up probably shortly after this uh, update video. And then I already have episode two kind of lined up what I'm going to be doing. And it's got likely going to be a, a prank on, on somebody get even with them so look forward to that <laughs> in addition to that I also have a couple other Minecraft elements I'm going to be hopefully doing not as consistently well one not as consistently one, one hopefully very consistently first of all in addition to the cherry bomb server we also have a, a sparkler server now sparkler is, is not an official BRG server this is actually a side project done by Turgo Turgo is, is my cohort in the design and, and build process for the cherry bomb mod pack so sparkler is actually something it's a little more than a vanilla plus pack in terms of it's got just a tiny bit of automation a lot of little mods for visual effect and fun stuff and the idea is kind of a uh, turgo's intent was to make it a easy to get into modded minecraft 
So that's what Sparkler is. Sparkler is an all ages uh, server, and of course, since B since he's part of BRG, he's hosting all the information and forums and whatnot on BRG. So that's there. So we got basically two different uh, servers now for Minecraft. On top of all that, <laughs> I also accepted an invitation from the Grumpy Owls community to join them on their vanilla Minecraft server. And the reason why I'm doing this is A, because it's new people to, to hang out with and they're wonderful, wonderful people. I love them to death. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, they've just rebooted or restarted their server for the next season. And what they're doing is they're actually doing 1.9. So they're actually keeping up with the uh, current uh, snapshots. That's, that's risky in some ways because you know, snapshots can go awry, worlds can crash, etc. But it's cool because you can play a lot of the new stuff. So we're going to be doing that. And what they're doing this time around is doing a theme. The theme is fantasy versus sci-fi. So we're actually going to have uh, a, a team of people who are going to do fantasy-focused builds and a team that's going to do sci-fi-focused builds. Now, you know me. I, 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 I'm all about the tech and I, I'm all about the suck when it comes to design. So... I'm going to support them however I possibly can, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so the, 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 there's that element of it. I'm also going to be doing something I hope will work out. And I, I say I hope because I have no idea. But that is, uh, I'm actually going to be kind of folding in my tips, tricks, and how-to series into the Grumpy Owl vanilla series. Uh, the reason for that is I really can't have that many different things going. And I want to be able to do something kind of new and different. And a lot of times doing these tips, tricks, and uh, how-tos, they're tutorials. They're teaching you or giving you some insight. And I like to be able to do it with other people. So having a server that I can actually host this on, so to speak, do the builds, and be able to show them off maybe with somebody. That's something I'm kind of looking forward to. So that is going to be, hopefully, work out. Yeah, the, the biggest issue with that usually is just because you have to do uh, resource gathering. And that's always been kind of a pickle sometimes. So, again, I can't hear tell what's going to work and it doesn't. I'll revise. But for now, that's what it is. So, that's that. Uh, so, look forward to that. Uh, look forward to um, a lot of the new series that are going to be coming out here. I may start or may do some recording on other games too as well, of course. Uh, new games I've gotten are Rocket League, which I'm really excited about. And a couple of uh, BRGers that have gotten it and are going to be playing it. I've got other games too, both new and old. Things like Fractured Space and Plant Side 2. Like I said, World of Warplanes if I can get it to work. I also have like the Half-Life series and the original Portal that I may pick up and play as a playthrough sometime. Just because they were fun. I got a chance to play a little bit and never got a chance to finish them. So I figured, what the heck? So I'm going to try to get to those. As part of my commitment to try to keep content rolling here, I am going to try to kind of set up a schedule for myself. Now, I'm, I'm going to say right up front, I'm not a career YouTuber, so I cannot guarantee I'm going to have, you know, every single week something's coming out on every single day kind of thing. But I am going to have a, a, a structure on when I'm going to release games in terms of this game's on Monday, this game's on Tuesday, and what that's going to be is I'm going to have Minecraft Mondays. So that could be the Cherry Bomb, the Sparkler, or the Grumpy Owls type content coming out on Mondays. I'm going to have Titan Tuesdays for my Fallout Titan series. I'm going to have War Games Wednesdays. So you'll see a lot of the World of War ships, World of War tanks, etc. on there. Uh, Retro Thursdays. So Retro Gaming series is going to be on Thursdays. And then Friday for right now is going to be a wild card, and that simply means I could have content going up on Friday that's, that's more of any ones I've just listed. So I could have, like, for example, extra Minecraft videos or whatever. Or it might be maybe with some of the new content, like the Rocket League or the Fractured Space, etc. So that's kind of the kind of schedule I'm going to follow. Again, it's not going to be consistent. I'm not going to have something every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But if I have, you know, some more content for retro gaming, they'll start coming out on every Thursday. And you know, Titanfall will be every Tuesday and so on. So that's that's the intent. So that's that's the news on the digital front. On, on, the, on the personal front, real quick note, I had mentioned in my last update video that uh, we are going to be having a new baby girl. We're still waiting. <laughs> We're actually in the final days slash weeks. The, the official due date is the 25th, but because of history, our kids tend to show up a little early, so 
literally could be days from now, it could be a week or two from now. I think if it goes beyond a week, my wife may start murdering people. But <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So that will, of course, uh, uh, be a new, wonderful, happy point in my life. And I will, uh, I will most likely have something go up on the YouTubes saying hi about it. So hooray for that. Yeah, so that's it for now. As always, uh, I, I do appreciate your time. I do love you guys very much. I love, love getting feedback from you. So please feel free to leave comments down below. Um, you know how the like button works. And realistically, yeah, the likes help move up the ranking and all that happy jazz. I'm, I'm small potatoes. I'm a small fish in a big pond. So that's not really going to affect me all that much. If you like the content, of course, sure, hit the like button. I appreciate that. It's a cheap, easy way to say I love you. And I love you too. Um, but if you have a chance, give some input. Put a comment down below. I love comments. I love replying to comments. If there's something about this you like, please let me know what that is. I'll make sure to refine that. Likewise, for people who like to hit the you know, thumbs down button, I respect that. But give some feedback. Tell me why. Does the audio suck? Do I suck? Does <laughs> the content suck? Just you know, give me some general feedback so I can help improve this. Again, it's a hobby. I love doing this. It's my it's my center. And of course, if I can do it better through through constructive criticism, I'm totally okay with that. So please, please, please help me help you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna cut it off here. I appreciate you sticking through the entire thing here. If you did, I'll give you a gold star. There you go. Go buy some gold star. <laughs> I'll pay you back later. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. Look forward to the new content. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Bye. <laughs>